Hi, let's learn how we can write and test business rules using guided rules and test scenarios with Red Hat Pen. Here, I have a project named Loan Approval that has two data objects. An applicant that has an age which the applicant will submit to, to test if he or she can receive a loan of a determined amount. And you can, as you can see here, this object has an amount and an age pre-qualification boolean field. Now, let's start by adding a guided rule that will fire whenever we have an applicant with age between 18 and 70 years old and that has requested a loan. With the guided rule editor, you don't need to code. Notice that we have an when-then condition that says that when I have these constraints, then fire and execute this action. And when I have an applicant and a low one, I want to do something. And if I match all of the following constraints of the applicant, and when I click on the all of the following, I can add a constraint on a field of this object. And I'm selecting here the option greater than to say that if I match an applicant with an age greater than 18, I want this rule to fire. Now I want to add another constraint on the age field that says that if this age is less than or equals to 70, I want this to fire, but only if both rules are true. And I want a low one to be there. And I'm gonna set this variable name so that I can change this object attribute value on the action side. So let's change the field values of this low one object and I'll set the age prequalification to true. This means that this low one is going to be approved. Now, I want to use this rule within a, pro within a process, so I need to set the rule throw group attribute. I'm going to set here the age underscore qualification. And now, let's see if this rule is actually working as we expect it to be. And to do that, we don't need to run it. We don't need to deploy the project. We can just create a test scenario, which will be a unit test for this rule. So we can validate based on some real values that we expect to receive on this rule. On this table, we can actually insert a couple of scenarios to test our rule. So given a determined field, we expect some result. When you click on the instance one cell, you'll be able to select the applicant age. And when you right click on the column, you can add a new column to actually say the amount of the loan that you expect. Now, let's select the loan age prequalification field so that we can actually assert our result. Now, I'll insert here a couple of values. So let's say I have an applicant with age 13 asking for a loan of 10,000. That should be false because he's under 18. An applicant over 83 should also be false. And one with 40 should be true. But when we run it, notice that we expected it to be true, but it's false. And I'll tell you why. We forgot to configure our setting rule flow group. We, this rule will only fire if we invoke this rule flow group. So now that I configured it and ran the test again, we can see the rules that actually fired and when it fired. So for the scenario three, we can see that our rule fired and not for the other. This ends our demonstration. Thanks for watching.